What's up, COL? What's up? It's your man, C Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. Today is a lovely day in the city of Detroit. It is currently 81 degrees and we are loving it. Today, your man C Mill, C from the D, hopes that your family is having a good week. Hopes that everything is well with you and all your loved ones, your moms, your pops, your kids, your brothers, your sisters, aunties and uncles. You know what I'm saying? It's all a blessing, you know. Today, I would like to talk to you about 10 things that puts the narcissist in fear. 10 things that puts the narcissist in fear. Number 10 will be getting exposed for who they really are getting exposed for who they really are and called out on their actions. A narcissist, this is like worst nightmare come true dot com for them. They don't want nothing to do with it at all. They don't want anybody to know all their hidden secrets and things that they have done to people to undermine them, to narcissize them, to shame them. You know what I'm saying? Stat backstab them in the back. They want they don't want anybody exposed to this stuff. They want it to all be secret. So the more you're quiet about it, the more they love it. So speak up on it. Even though it might seem embarrassing at first, speak up on it. Speak up on it around other people, man. You know, got to let them know what they is and let them know what they do have done to you. You have to let them know. Number nine is failure. Failure is something that they really terror, that really terrifies a narc. They do not want to be looked at as a failure or a loser. This is horrifying for them because they like to be put up on that pedestal and they want people to like, you know, praise them. You know what I'm saying? And praise them and they want to be on the spotlight as a good person. You know what I'm saying? But deep down inside, they know they ain't ish. You know what I'm saying? So failure is something that really terrifies them, especially if their failure is exposed. <laughs> Number eight. Number eight will be aging. They want to stay young and dominant over others. Narcissists, they hate aging. They can't stop that. They can't manipulate that. They can't do nothing against that. They hate aging. And the more, the older they get, the more grumpier and disgruntled they get. The more grumpier they get. You know what I'm saying? They get disenfranchised. They get frustrated. They, they hate aging. Uh, number seven, commitment. They cannot... They can't do a meaningful or lasting relationship. They don't want anyone to get close to them because they like to have their flaws, faults, embarrassment, and their imperfection. They don't want anybody to know their mishaps in life. You know what I'm saying? So they they hate commitment because you got to to be committed in a relationship. You got to let somebody get close and you got to get close to somebody. They don't want nobody to get close to them. They've always feel like they on guard and stuff got the wall up. Number seven, disrespect. They fear getting disrespected abundantly. They hate getting disrespected, you know, because they feel like like they the king or they the queen, and everybody that's not them should bow down. So, getting disrespected to them, that's just like really like that's that's a banana in the tailpipe for them. They they hate it, you know. They hate it with a passion. Um, number five, number five, being made fun of, they hate people laughing at them or looking at them like they can't cut the mustard. This is something that really, really like tease them off. You know what I'm saying? I'll put them in a the freeze moment because if you watch, if somebody laughing at them or they the butt of a joke, they're going to freeze for a minute. They're going to be like in a deep thought process. But then the only thing, they don't know how to process emotions, so the next thing they're going to do is spaz out. They're going to have a narcissistic uh, rage party. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. Because they don't know how to respond to it. First off, they hate it. But they don't know how to categorize or, you know what I'm saying, they don't know how to deal with emotions, you know, and blow it off, you know. Real immature, but this is what they do. Uh, number five, they hate being ignored. They want all the attention and they want it now. They would rather be hated than to be ignored because as long as they're getting some type of attention, whether it's negative or positive, they're okay with that because they draw your energy. They're getting some type of energy out of that. You know what I'm saying? So they don't mind whether it's hate or whether it's negative or positive. They don't care. 
As long as they get some type of attention from you, they like big giant babies, man. They just want some attention, man. Um, it's crazy, but yeah, yeah, we had giant kids walking around here. Um, they deeply fear being abandoned. It makes them feel empty in the inside, and they don't want to feel empty, or sometimes they don't like to sit by themselves because then they will have to reflect reflect on their own behavior and their actions. So they that's a no-no for them. They like they rather, like I said, they rather have the negative energy or something. Uh, but they don't want to be abandoned. And when they call on you, they want you to come running. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody come come check on me because I feel inferior on the inside. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want to sit here and reflect on my own actions because I know I didn't cut cut everybody's throat. I didn't stab everybody in the back. This is what the narcissist is thinking. They don't like sitting by themselves sometimes. When they in that frame of my, uh, mind where it seemed like some self-reflection might start happening. They'll call somebody or go mess with somebody. They'll just go run out the house just to go be around other people to keep their mind uh, not fixated on themselves. You know what I'm saying? The narc is crazy. Uh, I'm telling you, they are like, they got a lot of stuff going on with them, like psychologically and spiritually. Uh, number two will be rejection. Rejection. Rejection is like kryptonite to them because when you reject them, you are rejecting the person that they want to be. The fake facade and persona that they're trying to sell to the world and you're not buying it, they mad. They mad. They on 10. You know what I'm saying? They It's like putting on their Superman outfit and saying, look, I'm, I'm Superman. And you like, man, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? You not buying into the Superman outfit, so they mad now. You know what I'm saying? They mad. <laughs> so they hate rejection because they you you not buy you not buying into this false image that they trying to push onto people. So that really really makes them upset. They are they teed off with that. They, they you better buy into my stuff, man. You better buy this stuff, this fake uh, Fugazi stuff I'm selling, or, or yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gonna be through. I'm gonna throw you under the bus. That's how they think. You know, it's crazy. Uh, number one, the number one thing that a narcissist fears is death. Narcs fear death the most. Death terrifies a narcissist because it's the it is one thing for sure in their mind that they cannot control or manipulate. They have nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? It's like the aging thing. They can't stop that. And, but worse than aging, they fear death because deep down in their soul, they know they got demons on them. Deep down, they know they're getting tormented. Deep down, they know they're not on the good foot with the Heavenly Father, with the Most High. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Nisi. They know they ain't on the right track. They know they're not on the right track. And you, who want to go to judgment? Who want to go to principal's office when they know they're in trouble? No, nobody want to go. And the narc definitely don't want to go see the big messiah. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to do that. They don't want to go down that road because they know they got a lot of stuff. When you open up that book of life and get to telling them all the stuff that they, hey, why you do this? Why you do this? Why you do that? You know what I'm saying? Why you backstab him? Why you do this? You know what I'm saying? Why you ain't just stay in your lane and be a good family member or a good friend? What's up with that? My man was nothing but nice and loyal to you. He ain't show you nothing but love. Why you backstab him? They ain't going to be able to answer that. You know you know, uh, Jesus going to be right there to hit the button next. <laughs> Shrew. <laughs> For real. Send them on down to where they're going because it's over with. It's over. I would love to see that. If I could see if the good Lord let me see that with some of these narcs, I, that, that's priceless right there because I want to see. You have to, you know what I'm saying? You got to speak up. Your third person, I, I believe your uh, subconscious is going to tell on you. I believe your subconscious, that third person that you have that's watching your every decision, every move, I believe that's what's going to tell on you. That's just my personal thought. But they fear death. They fear death more than anything. You know? So, watch out for the signs. These are the things that fear them the most. You know what I'm saying? If you could utilize them, maybe to shut them up sometimes or, you know, get them off your back, you know, especially if you're in a situation where you're living with them or something and there's no getting away like that, you know, to calm them down and shut them up. You know, sometimes in the middle of an argument, just ask them why. Why? Why are you doing that? Why? 
why you why you like that? Watch them just kind of like they'll mute it down. You know what I'm saying? They'll mute it down quick. I'm telling you. Once again, this your man C Mia C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. Hey, y'all be blessed. Stay out that mess. Hey, hey, we're gonna have a good laugh when it's time for that knock to confess. <laughs> <laughs> for real that's gonna be hilarious i'm telling you so uh y'all have a, a blessed one enjoy your day enjoy your family be kind to somebody do something nice for somebody and always remember don't forget to read that bible man so i'll see y'all on the next one man i appreciate y'all for hitting that like hit that subscribe hit that share and it's all good man love y'all man peace